welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is April. I'm a mama to two kiddos. This is my daughter, Aubrey Ryan. She's 15 months and I have a four-year-old son named Martin. On my channel, you can typically find a lot of lifestyle and motherhood content. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions on this right here. This is the, <laughs> what is that? What is that? This is the Juvi Caboose Ultra Light in Graphite. It is a stroller and it is one of those strollers that can fit two kiddos without being like a full double stroller. So let's get into it, let's unbox this thing and let me show you what it's all about. Found the instructions. Okay, so let's see. Are you gonna help me? Okay guys, so I've got it open, I've got all my parts. Now I'm gonna start trying to put it together. First impressions of the instructions, they're very similar to Ikea instructions. There's photos of how to do it without an explanation, so this should be fun. And I have a little one who wants to sit on my instructions the whole time. Okay, okay, so now I've got the wheel. We go I, J, I. Okay, you guys, I messed up and I needed to watch a YouTube video to help me figure this out because the instructions were a little hard to read. So I will link the guy's YouTube video that I watched. It was so much easier than I thought. Put your wheels on first. Put the axle on the stroller and then put the wheels on. Don't do what I did and try and assemble it first and then put it on because that's not gonna work. Um, but we got it on and I was it was really easy for me to pop these off after I made that mistake. I just put my scissors in there and kind of popped it and then I was able to put them back on. But let's get back into this. Hopefully I don't have any more snags. Okay, so I got the canopy thing on. I got this on. I'm trying to stretch the like caddy over and this thing is hard. Oh my gosh. So this was obviously not a tutorial on how to put the stroller together. But now that I've got it together, which it really wasn't that hard, I was just, I don't know having trouble today. But let's go over a few features and things I like about it and some honest opinions about some other things. So right here you've got the tray, which I absolutely love. But if you do need to use a car seat in the stroller, you can. And this comes off and there's a different attachment that the stroller comes with for a car seat attachment. So I love that this is adjustable. I love that baby can go in the front and be almost completely shaded by the top canopy. I love that. I also love that this is adjustable. So you pull this up and then you slide this bar right here in and it raises so baby can put their feet up. So I love that. I wish it was a little easier to adjust. You almost have to like look underneath until you get the hang of it to adjust that, but I am glad it does adjust. The front wheels are able to lock to where they don't swivel. I honestly don't know why anyone does that. If you if you make your if you lock your wheels, let me know why because I never use that feature. I love that there is under storage right here. It's not very big. I do wish there was a little more storage there, but I am really happy that there is something under here where you can throw a jacket or some toys if you're going to the park, things like that. The main reason I wanted this stroller is because we don't need a full double stroller, but sometimes my four-year-old son needs to rest, and I love that there's a toddler seat in the back. I love that it has a harness. That way he is safe and he is secure if he's sitting there. But he's also a big kid, and I love that he's able to stand here if he wants. So he could stand on this and just hop on for a short ride and then hop off when he's ready to walk again. If you hear noise, it's this little helper right here. And she had her hair up in a bow, but 
that didn't last long. I also love that there's a canopy that goes to the toddler seat. So that way my son will be shaded when he's taking his breaks in the back here. And it unzips really easily right, right here. So you can just unzip it. And that way if he's standing on, on the stand, his head can come through here and he will just be super comfortable. And, and that way he's comfortable and he's not hitting his head on that canopy. I absolutely love that about it. I think this stroller is a wonderful stroller. It's really lightweight. It rolls really well. It gets the job done for exactly what you need if you're just looking for a stroller for your baby and a sometimes break for your toddler. Now, I don't think that this is going to be the ideal stroller for someone who has two children that always want to be in the stroller because the back seat doesn't look super comfortable. It looks like a great place to take a short break, but it's definitely not a place to like fully relax. And also if you have two kids that you're hoping are gonna sleep in a stroller, this is definitely not gonna be the stroller for you. But if you're a family like mine, where my son never really goes in a stroller, but now that we have the baby in the stroller, sometimes he's like, I wanna take a break in the stroller. So I think this is a great option. Or if you're going to like the zoo or somewhere where you're walking all day long and you need a break for your bigger kid, this would be the ideal stroller. Now I'm not 100% sure if this falls under the size limits for Disney, but let me measure it right now and I'll find out and I'll let you know. Because this may be a good stroller if you're going to Disney and you have an older kid that needs a break every now and then. So let me check that out. So as of today, when I'm filming this, this stroller does fit into the Disney size requirements for a stroller, which is super exciting because this would be a great option to take to Disney because I know for our family, my son is gonna be wanting to run around, get crazy, but then he's gonna get tired and wanna just like take a little break when we're walking from like one land to the next and things like that. And my daughter doesn't walk yet. So she's gonna need to be either in a baby carrier or in a stroller or in our arms pretty much the whole time unless she magically starts walking. But either way, it'll work great. And either way, we're gonna need a stroller. I hope you guys got a good idea of what this stroller is like. I think it's gonna be a wonderful option for our family. I promise you it's not that hard to put together. I just like couldn't figure it out for some reason. Again, I'll link that guy's YouTube video down below that really helped me out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the stroller. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah. You say bye? Say bye. Bye. Can you say bye? Uh.